Hey guys, um, welcome to this final video in this series of deep learning in MATLAB. So this final video is going to be a pretty short one where I'll just go over a few resources that will be useful in your journey to learn deep learning in MATLAB. Now we've only scratched the surface of deep learning. There are plenty more architectures, there's plenty more applications that you can learn about and I just want to point out some resources that might be helpful to you guys. Um, throughout this course of um, this series, we've created simple networks, we have constructed networks, networks from scratch, we use layers, and we use auto differentiation. We also use the deep network designer, and we used plenty of tools that will be very helpful for you um, if you want to um, implement anything in MATLAB. So I, I really hope that this series was useful in uh, some form. So one um, important resource that I would like to point out is the documentation page. It is pretty well written and there are like tons and tons of examples that are domain specific. So for example, if you want to uh, do deep learning with images, um, so I'm talking about the deep learning toolbox documentation. Um, this is the official documentation. So if you go to deep learning with images, um, you will find all sorts of uh, examples on how to create residual networks, how to create GANs, um, how to do transfer learning, um, so this is sorry, style transfer, image captioning, and all sorts of cool examples. And here there are like a bunch of examples for with real world data sets as well. Now if I go back and if I want to do time series analysis, so this is something that we didn't look at. Um, so we were mostly concerned with images, but then um, you can also apply deep learning to texts, and that is a pretty big field, uh, natural language processing. So that requires different kinds of network architectures that handle um, data in series, because a sentence is a series of words. So whenever you have data in that form, you use slightly different kind of architectures. So here's um, a bunch of examples of like how to do deep learning with texts and all sorts of things. So, um, and time series and again, tons and tons of applications. And now like um, if you want to learn more about how to deploy your code. So you've written a deep learning model in MATLAB, you've trained it. Now, if you want to deploy it to your embedded device or to your GPU, or if you wanna generate C++ code. So there, um, a useful tool is the uh, deep learning code generation toolbox or rather um, the GPU coder aspect of it. So here you will see examples of how to quantize your network, how to generate C++ or executable codes. So again, tons and tons of examples and um, hopefully these will be useful to you. Uh, another resource that's relatively new is MATLAB's GitHub page or more specifically the uh, MATLAB deep learning GitHub page, where you will see um, pretty recent examples, like uh, cool stuff like transformer models, which are not yet documented as far as I know, but um, you'll see all the cool applications of uh, deep learning and also um, recent algorithm translated into MATLAB. So if I open transfer model, um, you'll find all the instructions of how to um, create this transfer model in MATLAB, which turns out to be uh, GPT-2. And um, the whole model should be here. So so here is that model with the um, uh, with attention and whatnot. So again, the, this page is constant, constantly being updated and there are plenty of examples to check out and to learn from. Um, Right, yeah, so here, for example, um, if you wanted to see how ResNet, um, ResNet is a pretty famous um, image classification network. So how that could be written in MATLAB. So if I go here, you can see all the different layers of ResNet implemented in MATLAB. So pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend checking out the documentation and also checking out uh, deep learning GitHub page for MATLAB where plenty of resources and um, yeah and also all the codes related to um, this video series can be found at my github page in MATDL repo um, so all these codes uh, I can't open it in the browser because they're in the live script format 
but um, you can um, you can download these uh, this repo um, and just try the codes out. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will keep on making more videos about deep learning and applications of that in MATLAB and other languages. So yeah, keep a lookout for more additional videos. A um, couple of things that I have in my mind are um, reinforcement learning. So I've been um, playing with reinforcement learning in Python and um, using TensorFlow and PyTorch for that. But I definitely want to check out um, the capabilities of MATLAB in this area. So I'll probably look into making um, a similar kind of series for doing reinforcement learning in MATLAB. So I guess this will be it for this series. And I again hope that you guys found it useful. So see you in the next series.